Hello, this is Dr. Dan. In this short video, I will show you how to change line spacing in Blackboard. This can be used for discussions or other areas uh, like this information I have here. For some reason, changing line spacing in Blackboard is not exactly user friendly. So I will show you exactly what to do here. First off, what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and I'm going to edit this document. And what we have here is I, my goal is to have single spacing. And you'll notice here that this appears to be single spaced, but when I press submit, some of it is, some of it isn't. That's because I made some previous changes here. So let me go ahead and show you how I did it. So that way it turns out like this over here uh, and not double spaced like this over here. Let's go ahead and press edit. And what we want to do is we'll highlight the area that we want to change. And I'm going to show you some of these challenges here. First thing you need to do is make sure you click this little button here so it opens up the, these other icons. Press CSS right there. And this line height is where you want to go. Click the drop down. I click value. And in Blackboard here, 0.5 is single spacing and EMS. 0.5 amps. Now the challenge is, is if you press apply and update, it will look like it's single spaced. But then when you press submit, it's still double spaced. Why is that? Well, I'll show you. Press edit. We'll go back to that. We will highlight what we want to have single space. Press CSS again. Uh, value 0.5. M's, go down here, this button right over here, insert span at selection. We're going to unclick that, click update. You can see it still looks single spaced here, press submit, and now it's actually single spaced here. So that's how you change spacing. Let me go ahead and I'm going to do one other example here just to give you a little bit more detailed information. We're going to do this final one here, but I want to show you something. Let's go ahead and we're going to make this, we want this double spaced. So one will actually be that extra space in there, EMS. And I want to show you this right here. What we're going to do is we're going to press apply and update. And what you'll do is you'll notice that over here it changed to double spacing. Now let me go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to do something for you. Let's do this again. You one EMS, and now I'm going to off click this here. So remember, it's double spaced. Update still double spaced here, double spaced here. And I'm being repetitious here for a reason because I'll show you just one little miss, miss click, and it won't work for you. I'm going to go back here this again. Now let's go ahead and we want to single space that. And here is the problem that I discovered is that if you press apply and update, that's, that's where the problem occurred. It looks single spaced here because of that apply button. That changes only this information. When I press submit, it does not change this information. So that's why it's important when you make these changes to go ahead and change this value, change this to EMS, click apply and off click that. And that's what will change not only what you're seeing here, but also what you see here. Thanks a lot. I hope you find that helpful. That, that took me actually uh, watching another video uh, and playing around a little bit to figure out myself. Thanks a lot.